What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to do an unboxing and review of the One More S70 Open Earbuds. Huge shout out to One More for reaching out to the channel and supplying these this product for an honest unboxing and review. Let's go ahead and talk price and specs. As far as price, you can get these for $109.99. They only come in the black color. As far as specs go, uh, they rock a Bluetooth 5.3 with codec support for only AAC and SBC. As far as battery life, the earbuds themselves can get up to 12 hours of playback time. When you include the case, you can get up to 40 hours of playback time. You got fast charging. Five minutes will get you an additional two hours. And full charge from zero to 100 takes about 80 minutes. There is no wireless. The case does not support wireless charging, uh, which is a shame. But you know what? We will test that anyway just to make sure. All right, as far as water resistant, the, the earbuds are I, rated IPX5, sweat and water resistant. As far as features go, they each have dual magnetic drivers. They have a, di, di, excuse me, a Diamond Flex diaphragms along with them. They have acoustic uh, ADO, which is acoustic dual orientation for clear, leak-free sound transmission. They got four micro array with AI power ENC for crystal clear calls. Balance AR... Balance AIR plus technology, and that's <clears throat> excuse me, and that's help you know for a comfortable fit. You got a you got one more acoustic engine combined with drivers gives a forty percent more volume, so that's always a plus, especially with open ear earbuds. Enhanced bass technology, multi point uh, ten, uh, <laughs> multi point connectivity. If I can get it out, and app support for Android and iOS. So pretty packed. A uh, set of open ear earbuds. Let's go ahead and pop into these. Again, huge shout out to one more. All right, here we go. All right, let's see what we got. Let's get in this box. Make sure there's no tape around. Nope. Let's get this box open. There we go. All right, pull this out. We got the casing earbuds here, a filler. One more, this is uh, corporate, I guess this is for tech support, the QR code. We got our user guide. All right. You flip it over to the back. Looks like they have a QR code on the back here for uh, act, downloading the app. Very nice. All right. Okay, I'll take it on this side. On this side. Yep, here we go. Got your USB-A to USB-C. Why are we still doing USB-A to USB-C now? It's a small wire charging cable. All right. Very nice. Let's quickly take a look at the earbuds in case. Peel this off. I like that see-through. All right, let's go ahead. It's got a little. All right, there we go. I like that see-through with that on top. All right. And then let's see, you got your charging port on the back. Let's see. I think there's it's an LED. I think it's on the inside. We open it up. All right, we got our LED, charging LED slash Pairing button here in the center. We got our left and right earbuds. Let's go ahead and pull one of these guys out. All right, looks like we got to take off some more tape for the contacts. All right, we'll take care of that one. Let's go ahead and take care of number two as well while we're doing it. There we go. Get this off my finger. <laughs> Get this off me. <laughs> All right, there we go. All right, nice compact look to it. You know, got you know, get adjust to fit your ears. I think this nice tight fit or tight you know, form factor here or tight uh, style will give you that nice hug and basically keep the speaker in place when we put it on. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put one on real quick. See how it looks. Very light feeling. I'm gonna take a picture real quick. Let's see, so I can show you what it looks like.
All right, here we go. It fits real nice and comfortable. It sits right down, right inside the ear, right inside the ear well. It's, it hugs right underneath that cartilage here. Very nice. I'm, I'm gonna try to get my finger out the way. Very nice, very, very comfortable. Very light. Let me shake my head. It doesn't move. Like it doesn't give you that flapping feel. So it's a nice snug fit. Yeah, very light. All right. Very nice and comfortable. All right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and get these guys paired up and take a walk through the app. Stay strapped in. All right. We are back in. Let's go ahead and get these guys paired up. Pop open the case. We're going to put these guys in pairing mode. There we go. All right. Got that flashing light. Let's go into our our details here. So there is no Google Fast Pair or anything like that. So there you go. They see them right here. So we're going to go ahead and select them. Yes. And there we have it. They are all paired up. Let's go ahead and take a look at the long list here. Top of it. One more S70. Very nice. Let's go ahead and pull these guys out real quick. Just to make sure we stay connected. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and jump into the app and take a look at them. I got so many of them. All right. Boom. Sees it already. Let's connect. All right. Okay, it's going to take you to go through and show you how to properly put them on. And go through your your touch controls and everything. Let's go ahead and complete that. We got the black. Okay. All right, here we go. We are in the app here. Let me pull out my pen. So we can. I'm not got I ain't got my fingers in the way. All right, as you can see, we got the name of the earbuds at the top. We got the picture of the earbuds and the case and your respective battery levels. I like that. We got sound options. You got your pre, you got preset. You can go in, you got your uh, studio bass boost. It'll show you it down here, bass boost. I mean, bass, or well, bass reducer rather. And then you got bass boost. Then you got voice enhancer. All right, then you got classic. And then you got pop, all right? So, ah, I mean, I went back too far. All right, so there you have it there. I don't know if they have custom on here, unless you tap here. It doesn't give you that customized, customized EQ. Uh, so you only stuck with the, re the, the presets, it looks like. All right, so we, we go ahead and you got your custom settings. All right, for the left earbud, this is for your touch controls. I don't know why this app seems to be acting a little strange here. Let me. I don't know if it's the, the if it was the pen or what, but this app is, seems to be acting kind of strange. Let me go on here. All right, so no, no, I'm sorry. I thought there was more. There's just not more. It's not acting strange. All right, so what you got is you only got double tap and triple tap features here. It shows you the touch zone, so it's right there on the one more label, and you can pick which ones you have. So you're very limited on how you can use it. Uh, so you got the double tap. So I'm just going to go. This is my left earbud. Um, so I'm going to go. Uh, what should I do? I don't know. I got somebody. I'm going to go. Let's do the right one first. <laughs> let's do the right one. I like that with my next track. And let me see, go to the left. No previous track set. Oh, there it is. I'm sorry. I'm looking. All right. And then on the right for triple tap, I guess we're going to go volume plus and triple tap on the left volume minus. All right. So there's how we have it set. But you, again, you only got two options, double Double tap, triple tap. I don't understand that. All right, so 
let's go and you got your shortcuts here you can go and turn on gaming mode for low latency connection then of course you got your quick uh guide to product and here let's go into settings settings here <clears throat> excuse me you got your smart burn in we know what that is you can just start playing that and it will start to burn in which helps out which improves the sound of the speakers i mean it takes like a week or something like that i guess i don't know it takes a long time uh, for do that we have an update uh firmware update for the earbuds okay so this is where we go through here you always make sure that happens you got your music festival which will take you out to a website to their website then of course you got your control you got product color ads you turn them on after closing opening you know opening screen ads will no longer be displayed when you're launching the app so we got that turned off you got experimental features we can do the pop-up window or multi-point so we're gonna turn that on now because we go well we go see. we'll turn that on because we're gonna test that i'll turn that on in a little bit i know it was acting weird all right so then of course you got your frequently asked questions contact us and about one more all right so what we're gonna do real quick is i'm gonna go ahead and run this update i normally do that before i do the uh walkthrough but we're gonna do that now and if there's any change in the app we'll come back and revisit stay strapped in all right we're back in there was just a firmware update for the airbus so there was nothing in the app for me to show you guys off that uh, update so what we want to do now we're gonna go ahead and do our multi-point connection here. I want to go ahead and just show you guys. Let me go back up. I went to the wrong spot. All right. Let me go into settings here. We'll go down to experimental. I just want to show you guys that we do have multi-point turned on. So we're going to go ahead and try and see how this, see how good this is as far as the multi-point connectivity and everything. All right. So we're going to go ahead and bounce out of that. We're going to put these guys back in the case. All right. We're going to go ahead and get these guys in pairing mode again. Let me get get my fingers on that on that pairing button again. Do I get it? Hmm. I think I'm pushing down on it. No. <laughs> this thing is it's so flush. I think I got it here. Well, let me close this up. Man, that's that's a oh wait a minute, I'm sorry, hold on. I'm in the wrong one. That's not even it. The pairing button's down here. I didn't even see it. I thought this was the pairing button. All right, here we go. Let me close this up. Open it. Hold down the pairing button. Totally missed that. My mistake, fella, um, fellas and ladies. All right, power it off. Now let's do it again. Power it on. Now we, all right, now we're flashing. Let's go ahead and get these guys. See if it finds them. Boom, there they go. All right. We are pairing up to the f tablet, yes. We got our bar, our volume bar slider on the side. I don't know why that turned like that. Oh, jeez. <laughs> There we go. That dog on Gemini. <laughs> All right, so we got them paired up here. I am struggling right now. All right, as you can see, they're paired up on the tablet. Let's jump back over to the phone. We're going to pair these guys back up on the phone here. Let's pull these guys out. Let's try it again. So they could not connect. Huh, interesting. Now we saw that the uh, 
we had uh, boot, uh, dual connection turned on. All right, we turn them off. Let's close that. Open it back up. Pull them out. I got the chime, but it came from the tablet. But for some reason, it doesn't want to connect to the phone now. All right, let's go in and take a look. We're doing all this in real time, so it's not like. All right, let's see here. My customer said. No, nah, I didn't want soothing sounds. All right, for some reason it was turned off, turned it on on my phone, on my tablet as well. So let's go ahead. Maybe that was the problem here. Cause we saw it was turned on on the uh, on my phone here on my on my fold, but for some reason yes, this is weird. I don't know what's going on there with that. All right, I got the chime there. So now you can see it's connected. Once again to the fold six. Let me find, I got a line here, so let me find it. What? Yes. I don't understand what happened there. All right, so now we finally got it right. All right, um, I don't know what happened, but we finally got it right. It's on the Tab S8 Ultra, it's on the Z Fold 6. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and test out some, the multi-point. See, we have uh, audio switching. All right, there we back. We will go ahead and test this multi-point and see if we got audio switching, all right? We're taking a look at the uh, new Tab S10 Ultra. I can't wait for this to drop. I'm going to see about uh, picking that up. Uh, hopefully, I can. <laughs> and if I do, it will be an unboxing here on the channel. All right, so let's go ahead and hit play. We're going to hit play on the Fold 6. All right, we got audio playing out of there. All right, let's go ahead and hit, uh, hit play on the Tab S8 Ultra. All right, we got audio out of there. Now we're gonna see if I hit play here on the uh, Fold 6, will it automatically switch audio or will it just uh, pause it or just try to play from both? All right, here we go. All right, so it's, it's playing from both. So there's no audio switching out of it. You have to pause the one, pause your first one, then go to your second one. But however, when you get a phone call, it will like if you're listening using your tablet with these, you get a phone call. It's going to switch over automatically, so you don't have to worry about that. But no audio switching from device from one device to another. Not a deal breaker as long as we got multi point. Let's continue. All right, back in. What we're going to test now is the mono mode feature on these. We're going to see if you can listen to one while the other one is in the case charging. We're going to go ahead and Got our video started. All right, we got audio. So what we're gonna do now is gonna go ahead, take one, the right one out, put that in, close it. Audio was still playing. All right, let's go ahead and take these back out, put that back in, on rather. And let's go with the left earbud, put that in, close it. Audio is still playing. So you can use these individual individually with no, uh, without losing a step, 
doubling your battery life. All right, we're back, and we're gonna do is uh, really quick touch the touch controls. Again, you only have a double tap and triple tap for both the left and right earbud. So I have mine set to uh, play pause on both the left and right. So we're gonna go ahead and try that one too. All right, that works there. Double tap on the left, one, two. Let me, sorry. I mean, sorry, one, two. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. All right. So double tapping on both pauses it. Now I have on my right. If I triple tap, it will skip to the next track on my left. Triple tap will take me back to the previous track. So let's go ahead. Uh, triple tap on the right. One, two, three. Takes me to the next track. Triple tap on the left. One, two, three. Took me back to the previous track. So it's good risk. They the touch serve the touch response is really good, really quick. I'm just upset that you only got those two options. Let's continue. This is a mic test with the one more S70 open earbuds in a quiet location. This is a mic test with the ear one more S70 open earbuds in a quiet location. This is a mic test with the one more S70 open earbuds in a crowded location. This is a mic test with the one more S70 open earbuds in a crowded location. All right, we are out in my backyard for an ambient sound test. We got the S70s uh, in the ear, on the ear rather, and we're standing right next to my central air unit, so we're gonna see exactly, let me back up a little bit. All right, so we're gonna see exactly how much audio uh, I would need in order to be able to listen to my music and uh still hear what's going on around me i also got some traffic sent traffic from the street over here we got traffic from the uh turnpike as well so let's go ahead and and jump into a music app real quick we're just going to play a little bit of music right now we are at uh say about 50 percent volume i don't know if you can see that so we'll go ahead and hit play All right, we got some audio playing. Blue. I got a decent sound, a little low. So let's go ahead and turn it up a little bit. We have 50. All right, now we're at about 60% now. 60, 65%. And a good bit of sound there. We got a plane flying overhead as well. And I can still hear it pretty decently. So these guys are pumping out nice volume and their design is doing a great job here as far as funneling music directly into my ear canal. So let's go up to 70. I think we're at about 70%, 75%, somewhere in there. And I'm good right here as far as music goes. Let's switch over. Uh, to the spoken word. Let's go into one of my audio books and hit play. All right, we're in my audio book. And man, I'm telling you, I'm at 75 and this is perfect. I can still hear around me and I'm getting good audio from the spoken word. I think I can go back down to 60. Yeah, I'm back at 60 now, 60%. I'm going to show you guys. All right, 60%. 60, yeah. And I can still hear it just as fine. I got birds. So it's a lot of ambient sound, and the volume is coming through really clear. So the sound is fantastic on these on these earbuds. So this has been an ANC, or ambient sound test, sorry, for the one more open earbuds S70 or S70 open earbuds, however you want to name it. Really good job. All right, we're back in. We're going to do a quick sound test uh, with these. We're going to see how these sound. Uh, again, these are open air earbuds, so I'm a, you got to be careful. I'm going to try to be as careful as I can to keep uh, uh, audio from leaking out. I'm only going to do a couple songs because uh, you may, our main test is I'm testing bass and everything like that. And with open earbuds, although you might have some, uh, you're not going to get that, you know, you're not going to get that thump that you're looking for. Uh, when it comes to in ear ear in ear earbuds, but so we're going to test this out on a couple songs and see how I do. First up, we got Proclivities by LL Cool J. 
we'll go ahead and get these in and see what's going on, see how these sound. Uh, we're going to cycle through, obviously, the presets to see what we got. We're going to do some acapella as well, as well as some straight instrumental. But we're going to go ahead and uh, start with this one here first. All right, let's go. All right. Sounds good. All right, we're on studio. Let's go to bass boost. All right, it sounds like the... Let me go back to studio real quick. Okay. The vocals are clear. All right, we went to bass boost. Uh, all right, a little bit of a little bit of a bass, but a, definitely a difference from studio. Let's go to classical. All right, is a slight increase in the mid the highs that you can see here. Let's go to bass reduce. Okay. Uh, again, small change. Let's go. I'm gonna turn it up a little bit more. I'm kind of trying to be careful with it. But I, the vocals are crystal clear. All right, let's go to voice enhancement. Okay, uh, nice. It still sounds nice. Let's go to pop. Okay, now you can definitely tell the enhancement of the mid the mids. Still, they sound really good, though. Oh, yeah, these are really good sounding. Very impressive. Even though I cycled through all these. Let's go ahead and try another song. Let's go ahead and try another song. Let's go into... Uh, uh, let's see. Let's let's do... Um, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Where are that? If I can find it. Here we go. Yeah. All right. Now we're in studio with that guitar solo. All right. Let's go into a uh, classical. Okay. Got a little sharper. Now you got the rest of the, the bass guitar coming in. The drums. Let's go to bass. Let's go to bass boost with the drums in. Okay. Hey, all right. It sounds good. They, they sound really clear. Let's go to uh, pop. Yeah, these sound really clear, man. R real clear. And again, we're in a quiet setting, so it's not like we're outside. But man, these are really clear sounding. All right, the vocalist. Let's go to uh, voice enhancement real quick. Okay, you can definitely tell the difference from pop. And then, and then voice, it, it seems like the the, the band kind of like drifts to the background and brings up the uh, vocalist, brings them a little bit more up front. Let's, let's go to bass reduce. Okay, that kind of, it flattened out exactly. But it still sounds very clean, very clean, very clear. I like that. All right, let's go ahead and... um. Let's go ahead and get into our, uh, uh, our all instrumental. Here we go. Let's go to studio. I like the clarity. I'm just I'm just blown away by how clear these are for open ear earbuds. These are nice. All right, we got the lead saxophone in the Christmas of the keyboard. Let's go to classical. Very nice, very. I'm the clarity is great. Let me see if I can. Let me pull up a little bit more. Oh yeah, so yeah, these sound really clear. I'm gonna turn this down a little bit. I don't want no, no, no copyrights, no copyright strikes. Let's go to uh, voice enhancement. I'll see what that does. Okay, a little bit more of the, okay, a little clear. Let's go to pop. You can tell the slight difference between them two. Let's go between pop and classical. Okay, let me say. Yeah, pop is, you got a little bit more uh, of the mids. 
Yeah, definitely. This holds true. This down here holds true. All right. All right. Again, these things sound really good for open your ear earbuds. I, I, I cannot complain about that. Oh, these sound really good. Uh, let's go ahead and go through my likes and dislikes. All right, back in. Let's talk about likes and dislikes for the open earbuds S70 or the S70 open earbuds by one more. Uh, let's go ahead with my dislikes. I, I really only have like two dislikes. One is uh, the lack of touch controls. You only have two options, double tap and triple tap on both left and right. And... Uh, no equalizer. You only have the presets to work with. Um, that's the, those are like my only two I owe and no wireless charging. I figure for the price point, uh, you will get include wireless charging on the case. Um, yeah, I think that's, I think that's about it. Um, sorry about that. I had a phone call and I'll just go ahead and flip over to my likes. I, I like the, I like the look. I like how they feel. They're very light and light to wear. Can definitely wear these all day with no problem. Um, battery life. I like that. I like that. Uh, I love this case. I love to see through. I don't know what it is, but I like to be able to see through and look at that. I like the way they style that. Uh, very pocketable, thin case. Uh, let me see. Um, I love the the sound. They sound. They got nice volume to them, um, and the clarity was is really good. Uh, surprise me how good the clarity is on these, but these are definitely uh, are very sound very very good. I can't wait to uh, compare them to others. Uh, okay, let me see anything else. I think that covers. Yeah, I think that covers everything. Uh, let's go ahead and wrap this up. So this has been an unboxing and review of the one more open earbuds S seventy. Huge shout out to one more for reaching out to the channel and supplying these for. Uh, for a uh, review much appreciated if you like what you see go and hit the like button if you want to join me as i continue to do unboxing like this and others go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell that way you're notified when videos like this and others drop and i'll see you on the next one peace